Right. Hello, how are you? Happy March. We're having a terrible morning here. Cats knocked, the, this is about the third time we've recorded this. The cats knocked the camera over. The lovely folk have come to chainsaw all the trees on my street that grow into the power lines. Let's get them. Oh, she's whinging. Crikey. Anyway, it is March and there's lots of good things happening in March, so let's get excited about this. If you love a box set, you can catch up on Rake or Call Me Bruna or Tripped this month. And we're also going to be celebrating St. Patrick's Day, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit more next week. Hey, this Thursday the 8th is International Women's Day. Aren't we lucky? And before you get too upset, there is an International Men's Day in August. You never know, we might celebrate it. But uh, Riato Channel, in order to celebrate International Women's Day, is showcasing films by female directors all day. And you know what? You don't have to just, you don't have to be a, a woman to watch and enjoy them. Uh, you can catch films such as Get the Picture, The Idealist, Adult Life Skills, Embrace, Tony Erdman, and A United Kingdom. It's a really good mix. Just spend the day in front of the telly if I was you. Uh, also kicking off on Wednesday evenings throughout March is a series of films that take a look at cinema from inside the industry. And this week there's a really intriguing film. It's called Camera Person and it's a bit of a memoir from veteran international documentary maker Chris Kirsten Johnson. So she's a cinematographer and so basically what she does here is that she's taken snippets of films that she's shot over the last 25 years and um, Kirsten Johnson has shot films like Fahrenheit 9-11, The Invisible War and also Citizen Four and she edits them all together and it's kind of unusual at first to go to have these little moments and that go from a time and a place and an event to another one but really really quickly you get into the rhythm of this film and you begin to understand what Johnson is asking you to contemplate which is how do you frame the world around you what is a camera person's relationship to their subject how will that subject be impacted when the camera person has gone objectivity versus subjectivity what direction to follow in telling a story there is so much to consider and it's really nicely acknowledged here Hey, and finally this week, I want to mention Colossal, which is screening on Saturday, March 10th. I like this film for its originality and its wackiness, even if it didn't quite work. The film stars Anne Hathaway as Gloria. She is an unemployed party girl who uh, is living in New York until her boyfriend kicks her out of the apartment, and she ends up in her small town in her empty family home, uh, and she starts to get her life together. Well, kind of. She accepts a job from a childhood friend, Oscar, played by Jason Sudeikis, to work in his bar. Not ideal for an alcoholic. However, things are sort of slowly starting to look up until this Godzilla-like creature starts attacking South Korea. And Gloria realises that somehow she's playing a part in this. So this is a film about addiction and the colossal effect it can have on a wide range of people. We've seen Hathaway in a role like this before, if you remember uh, Rachel getting married. Um, but it's Jaken Sudeikis' performance in this film that really grabs our attention. Who knew he could be so nasty? Right. We made it, Miguel. <laughs> Just. See you next week.